Cedric Briscoe making up row one. History being made today. The Xfinity Series on the road course at Daytona. So much anticipation for this right here. Turn one for the first time. Both our guys on the front row missed turn one entirely. Cedric and Briscoe back to third and fourth. Such an advantage, I guess, being on that second row to watch those other guys go in there and see how they handle it. Noah's going to miss the corner just a little bit, but he gets the power down a little bit better than the 22. Oh, he oh. almost <laughs> gets a little loose right there on that transition across that paint. It could paint it over that yellow line. That's going to be really slick for a little bit till that dries off. Right along with Haley here. Let's see how he navigates this front straightaway chicane. This is something that they put in specifically for the NASCAR races. Whoa, Ooh. big trouble. Another miss. Watch him come across. Two, two misses. Yeah, yeah. Two misses. Now they'll no both have to come stop. here and stop. Keep it back. You got to stop. You're going to have to stop. You're going to have to stop. The right, both, all four right side tires were on the wrong side of the curbing, so they're going to have to both stop. Both colleague racing drivers right there, the 10 and 11. Lally ran the IMSA race here last month, so I'd be trying to learn something from him. Let's see that 10 car. Sliding the rear tires on corner entry. Oh, he's going to miss the corner there. He's got a problem. Yeah, Ross Chastain's slow now. He's got a problem. Track. He can't get that car in gear. He's got a uh, drive line issue. Broke the right? transmission. Yep. This car's not going to get around the racetrack. We're going to have a caution pit. come out. Pit, pit, pit. Anybody by the start finish line. Pit before the yellow comes out. 11 straight top 10 finishes for Ross Chastain. And around goes his teammate. Justin Haley is in the grass, and, and a caution I, does come out. And someone behind him also is having trouble. Try to get out there if you can. Yeah, someone with him was in the tires. And, Light car. Yeah, listen to trying to get rolling in that grass. There's been rain. Let's see how we get there. This is turn six. Wheel hop into turn six underneath the 11. They have contact. Here's the 11 of Justin Haley. Just, oh, oh my gosh. Goodness. My. Oh, boy. That's what I was talking about with the. You said it. The edges of that, uh, that part of the racetrack that she came back there. That's uh, this ground is so soft, and if a few guys drop a wheel here or there, it's going to be a big deep rut. It could rip the whole suspension off the car. Look oh. at that. Oh, my huge goodness. damage. Yeah, we thought the 11 was had the risk of getting stuck in the mud. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you, we can now see the 11 who is trying to get back to pit road. That this looks car like right here. We have a shot from the front. It's destroyed. It looks this like Clemens in there behind him getting oh into my. the tire barrier. This is yeah. day over for the 11 of Justin Haley. One lap shootout here for stage one. Austin Cindric, who stayed out on the racetrack, will be fighting against Michael Lynette now as they dive into one. Again, one lap until the end of stage one. All the way through one. Brandon Brown in the 68 was charging up there. Hemrick went off. It looked like driver's right back in turn two. Oh, he got contact. Oh, that was really lucky for those guys. Not sure they knew there. Oh, oh, Daniel Carr hard in the fence here. Yeah, I saw him go off right side turn two. I didn't know if he got all the way to the yeah, barrier. Stuck. He has. Daniel Hemrick is just, he has not had a good year at all. Just if something go wrong, it seems to. Doesn't run the full season. A uh, handful, of, well, more than a handful of races. About 10 races for Daniel Hemrick. Again, not able to roll. This is going to be the end of stage one, so that's why we're not seeing a caution right as they're coming up to the final chicane here of stage one. And Austin Sendrick is staying perfect. He won a road America, the last road course. He's going to win stage one from Daytona. And again, Riley Herbst in the 18 on the outside. Noah Gregson in the nine on the inside. Gregson, the preferred line as they go into turn one. Can he make it this time? The seven, that red seven car of Algar with an issue. Did not get through turn one very well. 
Earl Bamber oh turns the 18. Riley herps around. The 21 of Bamber got into the rear quarter panel. Can he get out of that wet grass? Looks like he's going to be able to get onto the asphalt and get going again. And that's something when you come into another series, when you come oh, into oh. round goes the nine. Wow. He got off track. Philip Gregson sliding into the grass. He gets into the tire barriers. Yeah, I'll let you know how slick that grass is. Wow. He's coming he... through the kink and missed it. Then when we talk about more here coming. You know, how circuits as the cautions out now race different. You know, that little kink is not even really a corner for the sports cars and a heavy stock car, it's a corner. Looks like he got on the inside curb a little bit and got wide on the exit. And just once you get the tires into that grass, you lose all the control. And he's way beyond the braking zone to be able to even get the car slowed down. That kink is deceiving. You want to carry as much speed as you can through there, and it's dried up. It's not as damp as it was the first time they went through there. See right here, this is the contact. The 18 and the 21. Amber and Herb. That's something, you know, when you, this, by the way, guys, the 16 car is going to get the free pass right here. So let's go put A.J. Allmendinger back in the lead lap. It's a good break for the 16, trying to recover from that pit stop. Keep your eye on the 21 as well, Earl Bamber. Right now fighting for second. the 44 spinning right there in the international horseshoe straightens it back out and keeps going Tommy Joe Martin's behind the wheel there and we stay green it's a good job by, by him to get rolling that quickly yeah, it's a good job by everybody to stay out of it oh big lock up but just a little here down into the corner and everybody's trying to miss him go through the grass you're gonna go through a sign probably misses the sign can he get through the grass and all the wet condition there he will he gets back out on track nobody gets in him so we'll see if Bamber has as much speed or more are going off holes that 92's dropped the wheel Josh Williams slamming into the sign there Just and yeah, look at the damage yeah, he dropped the wheel and he worst part this racetrack, big ruts on the inside of that chicane. So the gold bowling people call. Oh, my goodness, it. look at that. Yeah, that was a huge, that rut. Like, can we get our signage replaced, or is it it? Is it like a one-shot deal? This is probably the best advertisement they could ask for. I'll tell you. He, was that a split? He, 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 well, he, he, only hit, split he only hit or? two out of the three pins that were there, so there was still a pin stand. He almost hit the corner pin. Yeah. You see the, look at the damage. Yeah, the mm. splitter. That's why when you said it was a yellow for debris, it wasn't a hard sell. I, I agreed. There had to be debris somewhere. Else. I was wondering which car it was. <laughs> Briscoe and Bamber making up row one. See, Bamber, without a good restart, that's just probably not having experience of knowing how these cars accelerate. Yeah, there's quite a bit of damage on the left front of that 21 car, too. Look at Cindric. Guy's locking him up. Cindric sliding through one. Yeah, he's going to have to go through turn two and back up a little bit. Can't go through there three wide. He's going to lose a few spots. The 98 locks up the right front. Just a little bit getting into the corner. He's a team Penske driver until someone else calls. Yeah, that's right. right. So if you look at the seats, where are you going to oh, go? Josh Berlicki spins around. He was having a great run up at the top 10. Grass on the grill, but no huge damage on the nose. I think he can continue. Yeah, it looked like he spun exiting turn two. Let's take a look. So trying to run side by side. All through the bend to turn four. And just like the nine car of Noah Gragson, you drop a wheel right there. I think he was really lucky, though, that he didn't go on into the tire barrier. Guess who's broken into the top ten? The 16 of A.J. Allmendinger. That was a pass for second place right there. Cindric around Burton. 
Cedric with a higher entry, trying to get a better run on the exit. Here's his opportunity, I think, to go left. Will he try Brisco it at the bus stop, though? Briscoe's going to block it. 22 is there. Contact, hard contact. Briscoe way offline. Cedric pushes him out, oh, and Cedric takes the lead away from Briscoe. Cedric had quite a bit of damage to that right side. That's how much you want that playoff point, guys. Yeah, huge defensive move by the 98 of Briscoe, which I think then opens you up for contact. And Cindric, I don't think you can be mad after you block the inside line. We'll see if the 98 can attack in the bus stop. Yeah, Cindric has to drive in the corner deep right here. He cannot let the 98 get to him because Briscoe may not be happy. He's there. He's pushing on him. He's leaning on him. Contact again. Offset right by half. He's on the inside of him. Got the good momentum. This now awesome. today it's going to side draft him. Now we're like a mile and a half going to side draft him, trying to pull him back. Remember, there's another chicane coming up, another breaking opportunity. Side by side oh. for the lead and potentially the win of stage two. Cedric lifted to see if he could get a better run on corner exit right here. Going to have to try to turn underneath him on the curve too hard. Not going to be able to make it happen. Nose to tail as they come to the stripe. And it's going to be Briscoe who wins stage two. You know what that was, Rick? That was a dress, a dress rehearsal for 22 laps from now. These guys have showed a little bit of their hand. What a closing lap. Josh Balicki and Heckert, those are the two up front. Well, they were, and now it's Sendrick and Briscoe again. Well, Sendrick off track. Can he get back on? A lot of ground lost there for Austin Cindric in that 22. Cindric takes second away. Balicki back to third, Harrison Burton fourth. You see the lead that Briscoe enjoys over Cindric as he tried to work through that traffic. Briscoe dro drove away to a 1.8 second lead. It was the backstretch chicane. Now uh, another part of the infield where he got turned around. So Riley Herbst who was running and big damage there for Bamber. So Bamber struggling now mightily. On the apron all the way back around. I think that's in the backstretch bus stop. It looked like as we were showing yep. Riley Herbst come through there, he went back through that hole. Driver's right. We continue to talk about it. And this time, guys, he was not as fortunate to get by everything. You can see the heavy, heavy damage. See right here, he just gets in too deep. It looks oh, like, my goodness. And he was prophetic when he talked to us this week. Remember, he said, those curbs are worth some speed, but they will destroy your race car. He did. He told us how dangerous it was to go through the bus stop and look at the debris everywhere. And now the caution has come out on the racetrack. Now we have all these fuel conversations. This is a chance to save fuel, but now are tires worth anything? Do you pit? Do you protect for overtime? Curry Weatherman and Snyder up there on old tires, spinning the tires on the restart. There you see it, the 98 to the outside. You're gonna try to outbreak these guys all the way down the corner. And all the way gonna shove the 47 into the corner. They're all going to miss it. They all missed the corner. They all tucked themselves <laughs> in now. Oh, oh, big contact. Yeah, big contact here. And yeah. falling way back now. Almondinger in the 98. Oh, oh, we got a car spinning. The 36 hard into the guardrail. The 98's around. Briscoe with damage to the 98. The front end damage. You said the 36 also around. That's Preston Partis. They're gathered up here. Around. Yellow's out here. What a mess. Riley Herbst also around. The window net down for Partis. Everyone missed the corner. Couldn't believe it. They all did. A little aggressive. Remember the Roval? Yes. First year of the Roval yeah, where everybody right. drove into turn one on a late race restart? Yep. That's what we just saw there. So it looks like. And look at all the damage. Done. I got no brake pedal. That looks like excessive camber on that left front of the 98. All right, here's what happened. And this is going to be a lot to take in. A lot of pushing. Watch lot the of 16. Push goes the 47. The yeah, and he just pushes the 47. But everybody is missing the corner here. 19 gets to their clean, the seven. Look at the contact with the 16 and 98 there. That hurt the right, the right front of the 98. And he's off in the grass. There's just so much going on here. Partis got turned in the 36. 
Later Riley Herbst around in the 18. Buford's going to go around in the 07. It looks like he had some help. They stack up behind him. Goodness. Big wreck behind him. There's a lot right, of digging going on. A lot of spots right on. there. Keep on. Let's get around these guys. I know he has a lot of ground to make up. And battle for the lead. Cedric to the outside. Brandon Jones on the inside. Brandon Jones blocking, moves out. Now through turn four, the kink. Will the 22 try to break him? Into this corner. How to the outside again. Look tries the outside. Can he make the pass? If he can just stay on the outside, he'll have the preferred line for this next corner. That is so impressive to be able to drive in the corner that much deeper than your competition and stay next to them. Oh, he's loose into turn six. Slides up the wow. racetrack. Did a great job staying off the 19 car. Cindric back out front at Daytona. Austin Cedric, then Brandon Jones in the 19, Justin Allgaier, Andy Lally, and Myatt Snyder, the top five. I got the position right here in turn six. Whoa, oh, he slides oh, in, catches oh. the seven. Allgaier around because Almendinger tagged him. Oh, and Justin will be not happy with that. Just more insult to his year. Yeah, it's been a tough year. AJ trying to get the position from Lally, just gets in there a little bit too deep. You can see it, he's, he's wheel hopping. And once you start wheel hopping, you just can't do anything. You have to, the only way you can stop that is to get off the brake and knock the car out of gear. And, and that's going to sell him right through the seven car. Yeah. So he's made contacts. He's got a lot of damage to the right front headlight. We heard Mario Andretti talking about watching history. He was talking more about the fact that this was the first time the Xfinity Series would ever be on this road course or the Cup Series coming in here. But Austin Sendrick right now is making history in what he is doing in this series and how dominant he is, especially over the last six races, winning five out of the last six races and the first ever road course race for the Xfinity Series at Daytona. He comes out, sees the checkered flag. Austin Sendrick wins again. Thanks, guys. Good job today. I didn't do my best for you, but it's good enough. Thanks for a great car. Thank you. Competition hopes he doesn't bring his best. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.